Hi, my name is Anne Britt and welcome to my channel. And today's video we are going to be doing my evening skincare routine. So, kick back because it's a bit of R&R &R tonight and we're going to do the skincare routine in the living room because I need to rejuvenate and relax after a hard day at work. So, if you've never been here before, welcome. If you have, welcome again. Now, a little bit about me. I'm an esthetician for way too long than I would care to remember. And my philosophy is very different when it comes to skincare. I don't go for a brand name. I don't go for anything like that in particular. For me, it's all about ingredients. So, enjoy. You're going to see a mixture of ingredients here. <clears throat> my background is also a holistic therapist. My background is also in clinical aromatherapy and Ayurvedic treatments. So, let's get into the video. Okay guys, so let's get started. Now, the first thing I'll do at night time is double cleanse. Um, first of all, I meant to say to you, tell me in the comments, do you like the matching headband and robe? Marks and Spencers and the Vintage Cosmetic Company. Anyway, let me stop joking around and get on with it. So, First up, I always use pH balanced um, skincare cleansers at night time because of the active ingredients in my serum, etc. So first up is Squalane Cleanser by The Ordinary. This is a cleansing lightweight balm that turns into an oil. I've actually just did a review on that a few days ago in my Ordinary playlist. So. I'm going to take some of this and yeah, I've got a thing about getting down and dirty on camera, I love it. So, we mix it in the palm of our hands. I've already just washed my hands before recording. And we wait until it's turned into an oil. And then we're going to, I apply it on the face first and then over my eyes. <laughs> you will see why, trust me. So, what is in this? It's best to use an oil cleanser for your first cleanse because you're basically taking off your makeup, your sunscreen and then your second cleanser is going to get into the pores and cleanse your skin properly to prepare it for your treatment products. So, what is in this is lipophilic esters which dissolve the makeup sunscreen etc we have squalane which we have naturally in our own skin now when i come here i rest so it starts you don't want to be um rough on the sensitive eye area and i do this so it loosens the mascara now it doesn't take off mascara completely but for me it's fine because my next cleanser is also you can use for the face and the eyes. So this is going to leave your skin nice and soothed and moisturising because of the squalene in it as well. And it's a fantastic gentle cleanser. I really like this. And I will have to purchase the larger size. Be warned. Get the larger size, do not get the small size. So, as you can see, lovely panda effect. So, I'm going to rinse this off. Okay, yes, makeup off, there we go. So, the second cleanse, I am using the Soya, soy, sorry, face cleanser from Fresh. I absolutely love this this same as the um well the ordinary the cleansing balm is good for all skin types sorry i meant to say that it's very gentle and the soy face cleanser from fresh you can also my face is still damp you can also um it's for all skin types it's very gentle and Yes, there's a slight scent, but not all scents are bad. <laughs> so, this, I would say, is more 
like a slight cucumber scent, if anything. But it's so nice and gentle on the skin. I love it. So we have, it's a pH balanced face wash. Once again, you can use it on the face and the eyes. Okay. Just to prove a point, here I go. And <clears throat> we have cucumber extract, which is soothing and cooling on the skin. And we have rose water, which is also soothing. Calms and soothes the skin. We have soya proteins, which is rich in amino acids and improves elasticity and smooths. And we have borage seed oil, which nourishes and softens the skin. So, just the same again, I'm going to go rinse with lukewarm water and then we will proceed with the rest. So, it's down the face and neck. So I'm going to rinse and be right back. Okay, so the next step is for the evening time, I also require a pH balanced toning lotion, which boy, are they hard to find. So the one I am using is the Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner from Fresh. This is absolutely beautiful. This has rose petals in it, as you can see. Now, I did not pick it for aesthetic purposes. As I said, I go by ingredients. And Rose is renowned for its um, skincare and cosmetic purposes. It's used in Ayurvedic medicine. It's used in Chinese medicine. It's obviously used in aromatherapy. And it has so many benefits. It calms and soothes the skin. It's good for toning and refining the pores. I'm going to tell you exactly as I use it, the benefits. So, I simply take it on my cotton pads and then I'm going to sweep it over my face. So what this does, <clears throat> I'm looking in the mirror here so it's used. So what this does is it deeply hydrates the skin. It softens and refines the look of pores. It tones and preps the skin for your next skincare steps. Now the rose fruit is what tones the skin. Rose water soothes and calms. And rose oil is what nourishes the skin. And we have angelica leaf which retains the moisture. And we have hyaluronic acid, our favourite, which attracts and maintains moisture and gives a plumping effect. So, this is good for all skin types however even though it's a natural scent because rose is extremely beautiful and beneficial in skincare still even though it's a natural it's not synthetic some people can still be allergic to it so be warned but i'm mature so it's fantastic for mature skin remember mature skin the epidermis thickens, it's the opposite when you're younger. So, <laughs> let's move on to the next part. So, the next part of my regime, and excuse me, it's not a regime for nighttime, it's actually a skincare ritual. I love my nighttime skincare because I can take my time. I'm not a mother, I'm not a worker, it's just my time and me, moi. That's it. So now I'm going to use the ordinary hyaluronic acid and vitamin B5. So I take three to four drops. I'm going to smooth it on the skin and then pat it in. You don't just go pat in, that's not you've got to move the product, you know. I don't understand why people do that anyway. So I smooth it on the skin. And this has three types of hyaluronic acid molecules. So they can penetrate into the skin. 
and vitamin B5 softens, smooths, and it's also very healing on the skin tissue. So then you pat down, but while this is drying, that's when I move on to my eye care. So, excuse the bike in the background. <laughs> Nothing I can do. So, let me move on to the eye care. So, I am using retinal correction, eye cream, no surprise there for people who have been following me. Um, I love this eye cream. It addresses all signs of eye issues and ageing, meaning dark shadows, which retinol is the only thing, unless it's, you know, genetics, whatever. So we have um, retinol and a mineral complex in here, meaning magnesium, zinc, etc. And this is good for dark shadows, puffiness and fine lines and wrinkles yeah because you know the vitamin E and I'll also write anything else I forgot and also what my skin issues are so that you can relate to if it would benefit you for example so next up <clears throat> And the eye cream, by the way, is a gorgeous texture. It's like between a serum and a cream. And it's fantastic under makeup. It's just the perfect texture because it's not too thick and it's not too thin, if you understand my meaning. So now we're going to use... <laughs> I'm going to try and say this. Neantara. This is from Forest Essentials. And this is a clear... Um, lash and brow serum now I have never used a lash serum in my life this is the first time I can't review this for at least another month because I've only started using it but what this does is it has amla fruit which conditions um, and it's for hair growth then we have fenugreek which boosts the volume that's a herb it boosts the volume and it strengthens the lashes. I only use this at night time. You can use it morning and evening. You can put it on before your mascara. But for me, because my eyelashes are so straight, no, no thank you. I just do this at night time. So, and we have also cold pressed um, castor oil, which... It is good for conditioning, hydrating, we all know it's to do with hair growth as well. So this is to restore, and you just pop it through your eyebrow like that. So this is to restore and strengthen the eyelashes and the eyebrows. So we will see. I'll review this in about another month. I never review nothing too quick because the skin needs time. And you need time to see, um, you know, how the product is working. The only thing you could, you know, um, review earlier would be a cleanser, obviously. So, now I move on to my favourite part. My other rock ingredient. Now, I've stepped up to Big Brother. I did try the capsules and many other uh, retinal treatments, as you will see in my other playlist. So I've moved on to retinol, rock retinol um, correction, the deep wrinkle serum. So this is a peach colour. It's like a gel. I would, yeah, I would say like a gel texture. It actually absorbs into the skin pretty quick. So I apply this. So what does this have in it? Oh, it has plenty of good stuff, trust me. So we have retinol, which stimulates collagen production, also good for acne and anti-aging and wrinkles. We have ascorbic acid, which boosts collagen. We have the mineral complex, which is 
copper, zinc, which zinc is for healing the skin tissue and it's also anti-acne. And we have copper, which is for cellular regeneration and <clears throat> vitamin E, which is healing and anti-aging. And yes, I will be, make sure to like and subscribe by the way, because obviously I'm going to, I always review every product, but I give it a couple of months. My last skincare routine, as you will see, my playlist was way back in October. So yeah, I have changed. Now I'm using vitamin C in the morning, retinol at night, which is the perfect way to do it. Um, but yeah, you can see in my morning one. Um, and I use a cleanser that has glycolic acid in, it in the morning, which is a gentle exfoliant. But for me, that's fine because it's on and rinse off it's not like direct acid you know what i mean like that you leave on the skin that i'm kind of wary about it's okay to use but you know use your discretion how often you use it what i do is i wait about 20 minutes at night time i can do it because i have the time and i've did all my routine and then just later on i pop this in so i'm going to show you what i do now so I take the ordinary rose hip seed oil. I use three drops of this mixed with, let me show you first. So always use the dropper and drop it onto your hand. Never, I don't know, <laughs> never put it on dropping it on your face that is so wrong to apply it like that it's unhygienic and you know it's in a dropper form for a purpose you know you're just contaminating the product now i'm putting a little bit more because i'm going to go down on my decollete so this is the natural moisturizing factors and hyaluronic acid the light moisturiser from The Ordinary and the rosehip seed oil, I don't know if I said, is also from The Ordinary. So to skip a step, so I don't like be putting separate oil cream, blah, blah, blah. I just mix this together and rosehip oil is fabulous. To me, it's the queen of the oils. Or the king, however you want to say it. But rosehip oil is rich in vitamin A and C. It's good for scarring. It's good for pigmentation. Everything that I need to address. It's nourishing. It's moisturising. It's anti-aging. Basically, all type could use this and it's a, like described as a dry oil it does it not leave a heavy greasy film on your skin so anyway that's a rosehip oil is beautiful that's a, a whole different video <laughs> so i apply on my neck and my decollete my decollete i have age spots so that is the purpose for that also. And yes, we should always like include the decollete because this is where we age the quickest is the neck and down here. So my final step guys is I am using the Rose All Day Lip Mask from Physician's Formula. See, I told you, I'm a variety of brands here. I just go for what I like in the ingredients. This was actually sent to me as a gift when I had brought bought products for them. It was in the Rose um, All Day Kit, which came with a hand cream, this lip mask and a couple of other things. This is absolutely amazing. It is beautiful. It's... I use this now more so in the winter time. I have, I use this overnight. So basically, and it's not, it's not scented of rose, by the way. So it has sheer butter, 
soya bean oil and vitamin E. In this, I leave this on overnight. Oh my god, I wake up the next day and my lips is amazing. You think it had a lip job? <laughs> is nice and plump and moisturized and no crack skin no dryness because you know it's like in the winter you get dry lips more so as you can see i'm a bit of a rose freak because in case you didn't know the rose is actually every single part in the rose plant can be utilized and used for different purposes it's absolutely an amazing flower for beauty for skin care so yes i took the headband out so that my friends is my evening skincare ritual not a routine it's a ritual it's something i love i mean my skincare i love it in the morning but you know what it's like you're in a rush then you've got to make up then you've got to get to work blah 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 so yeah the night time is really really is when i enjoy my skincare better so i hope you enjoyed this video please give us a like give us a subscribe and i'll see you in the next video Thank you for watching and happy skincare!